Hi, I'm Tyler Davidson, a graduate student in Appropriate Technology at Appalachian State University. Today, we're going to be talking about raising and lowering a small turbine tower with the assistance of a grip hoist. This particular winch is a grip hoist model. It's rated for 2,000 pounds, which should be plenty for this small tower. Before using the grip hoist, you want to make sure that you have it well lubricated. You can lubricate it with any kind of gear oil or you know, motor oil just to keep sure that everything's uh, running smoothly. This particular grip hoist has a clutch mechanism which you use to engage and disengage the wire. Right now the clutch is in a neutral position. You can engage it simply by pressing it forward, which I'll show you later. All right, now we're going to show you how to reel out the wire for the grip hoist. When rolling out your cable, you want to make sure that you're going in the opposite direction that the tower is going to be laying down. When unrolling the cable, you want to make sure you unroll it in an end over end fashion, not off the side, or else the cable will get tangled and possibly kink up your winch. So we've laid a grip hoist cable down in a straight line in the opposite direction from which we're going to be lowering our, lowering our tower. Now it's time to hook up our grip hoist to our ground anchor. We attach the grip hoist to the ground anchor through a U-bolt. Simply slip the U-bolt into the eyelet of the ground anchor. Then we take the hinge pin from the grip hoist pop it out, then slip it in through the eyelet of the U-bolt, making sure the cable is on the upper portion of the bolt, then slip our hinge pin back in. Now it's time to attach your grip hoist hook to your gin pole eyelet. Simply like that. And now we engage the clutch mechanism like that by simply flipping this lock. Simply hook on your L1 lever, which is used for lowering. As you can see, the eyelet's moving this way. And if I change it this way, that's used for raising the tower. The next step will be taking your forward guys and attaching them to the gin pole so that we can lower the tower. In transitioning this front guy wire to the gin pole, we do this by removing the wire clamps. Um, an important thing to remember about wire clamps is that you always want to um, reconnect them um, in a particular way. Um, it's an expression, never saddle a dead horse. Uh, meaning that the saddle of the U-bolt should always go on the live end of the guy wire, whereas the U-bolt portion of the clamp should always go on the tail end. So we're going to do this uh, simply by taking a nut driver and taking off these bolts one at a time, transitioning this first wire to the gen pole to make sure that we have a little bit of security, and then transitioning the second one over and then the grip post will hold it in place. Now we're going to attach the thimble portion of this free guy wire to the carabiner on the gin pole like that. This is the first one, we have one more to go. Now we're gonna be transitioning the second guy wire, but just so you can see how it's set up, the grip hoist is attached to the earth anchor, the clutch is disengaged and locked, and we have a little bit of security here just by having um, you know, our frontal guy attached to the gym pole, so that even if a gust of wind blew, uh, we would still be, we would be secure, we would be locked in and safe. Now we're going to transfer the free end of our frontal guy, our second frontal guy, 
to the carabiner, transferring all the weight to the grip hoist and the ground anchor. Now we have our two front guys locked into our carabiner here that is attached to our gin pole, attached to our grip hoist, which is attached to the ground anchor. Our, uh, so this is supporting the frontal weight distribution of the tower right now. All right, now we have everything set up, but before we lower the tower, we wanna make sure that we have some kind of uh, ground barrier support set up down where the tower is being lowered. As you can see, we have some two by fours set up down there. Let's lower this baby. As I winch, I'm gonna have my assistant pull on the back guys to put a little tension to get the turbine going in the opposite direction. Great, so we've lowered our turbine. Lowering the turbine is usually just for routine maintenance. Usually you wanna do this about once a year just to make sure your turbine is in good working order. So when raising the tower for the first time, you wanna pay special attention to the tension on your guy wires as it's being raised up off the ground. You wanna have a, a slight slackness in each of the lines just to make sure they're not too tight. If a guy wire looks too tight, you wanna lower it back down and slacken up the wire. So now for raising the tower, our clutch is still disengaged. All we're gonna do is transfer the lever from your lowering position to the raising position. And now we're ready to hoist the tower. After hoisting the tower back up, now we want to transfer our front guys back to the ground anchor. We're going to do that in the same fashion that we took them off, one at a time. So we're going to simply remove these temporary guy wires from the gin pole. Slip the first guy out. So before we clamp down our frontal guy, we want to make sure that we have the right amount of tension. Um, all wire tension should be done by hand, never by machine, to prevent creating too much tension. Remember our rule, never saddle a dead horse. We're going to put the saddle portion of the U-bolt on the live end of the guy wire. This being the tail end, this being the live end. And we'll do it just like that. And then the U-bolt goes around the other portion. And finally, we'll transfer our, our final guy or wire to the earth anchor.